Alright, are we ready to paint a fox? First of all, you're going to mix your red and yellow. And you're going to make some orange. You can make it as bright as you want. Make sure you can see. I'm mixing some orange here. You can make it as bright as you want, or you could add a little bit of brown. If you have some brown paint, you could add a little brown to make it more realistic. I think I want to make this one bright. I want to make it not super bright, but just, I think I'm going to stick with the orange. All right, so I need to wet my paintbrush. Right now I'm just applying the orange onto the head. I'm gonna make it a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit of water to help it flow. You can always add more paint if you need to, but you can't take away the paint. So it's better to start with just a little bit and be sure to wet your brush in between, but don't wet it too much to where it's dripping all over the canvas. It's easy to do. We've probably all done it. So we're just working on the head right now. Filling in the ears. I'm actually liking this orange color for the fox and I'm going to go ahead and dip my paintbrush in some more water. Not overflowing now, just a little tad bit of water because I don't want the paint running all over the place. But I don't want my paint too thick either. Alright, I'm going to go down into the nose, the nose area with the orange. Now you don't have to do the side if you're going to outline it later, then you don't have to do this side. Or you can just go over it either way. Now, I don't mind paint the paintbrush strokes showing, some people might not like it, so you can kind of just blend it in a little bit. And if you find that your pencil lines are showing, just let that dry and we'll go over that area later. So you're going to wet your brush a little bit. You're going to go back in with that orange. And we're going to fill this body in. And I need a little bit more water on my brush. I'd rather just dip it a little more often. I'm going to mix a little bit more a little bit more of that red and yellow together. So I'm finding I need a little bit more orange. And we're just going to go around this little circle here. Enough to cover up that line where we drew it in. I need to wet my brush just a tiny bit, and I'm going to pick up some more orange. And you can curve this a little bit more if you want. You can make it straight and more tribal. It's up to you. Just be creative. I'd love to see everybody put their own touch on everything. So, And if you just need to just copy it straight just like it is to get the hang of painting, then that is fine too. There is nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I have my orange filled in here in the body. And I need to let that dry because if I keep going over it, you see the brush strokes are just gonna, it's just not gonna do me good. I just can't go over that. I've gotta let it dry a bit. So I'm gonna grab some more orange and Come right in here on the tail. I'm still using the same brush. 
And you can use a flat brush if you want, a rounded brush, it doesn't matter. They will all do the job, I promise. So just experiment, just play around with it and have some fun. It's all in the eyes of the beholder anyway. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit and it really doesn't take that much paint. You don't want to do shake up too thick of the layers because you can always add more paint, but you can't take away paint. Okay, so then I have my orange in. I mean, I'm gonna let that dry before I go back in and add white, which I will add some white just to cover up these areas. But before I do that, I'm gonna let it dry enough that I can go back in and add a little bit more orange. So I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna pat it dry on a paper towel. Paper towel, piece of paper, I mean with the times like it is, whatever you have available works. You just don't want it soaking wet and you wanna make sure that you've got that previous color off of it. So pat it dry, not all the way dry, but just a little bit on your paper towel. And then you're gonna take some green. And I try, to, I try to show you how to mix with the basic colors. That way you don't have to have too many. If you just need a few supplies at hand, you can mix your own colors together. So I'm mixing a lighter green. I wanna add a little bit of brown to that. And I'm going to go ahead and go in now what I'm going to do is take pick in some of this darker green right here that I used to mix the lighter green and I'm just putting just a tad bit on my brush with that if you can see that so I'm just going to pick that up and I'm doing upward strokes 